Hey everyone, Ryan here with On Point Plumbing coming to you from our shop here in Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, so today I want to talk about your hot water heater. This one here was pulled out of a house not too long ago, uh, just around the 15 year mark. And what happens, the bottom blew out and uh, just caused damage in the basement. It was, it was actually quite a mess. So I'm going to go over some items today about your hot water tank in your home. This one here is just a standard 40 gallon atmospheric tank, which is pretty standard in everyone's homes. Uh, usually when you get a bigger family, you would like to upgrade to a 50 or even a 75 gallon hot water tank. Um, the more people in your house, the more gallons uh, you'd like to have in your heater as well too, because a little 40 gallon is only usually good up to two people. A family of four is a lot of stress, especially bath time for the kids, showers in between with the family, uh, constant use of the kitchen, dishwashers are getting used more because you have more volume of dishes and stuff like that. So. What had happened here is this guy here was uh, leaking out of the bottom, and which is very common. And uh, we pulled it out and the bottom actually was completely corroded underneath, just fell apart like shale, which I've never seen before, but it was leaking for some time. And uh, so we replaced it with a, another 40 gallon atmospheric hot water tank, a newer version which would have a gas controller similar to this one here, which provides more safety features than your standard gas controller would. On the older hot water tanks, the only line of defense you have to protect you and your home was this guy right here. This is what's called a temperature and pressure relief valve. This here, if it senses any pressure increase in the tank than what it's manufactured for, the pin opens, lets water out, and then once it's satisfied, should close. But if the water continues coming out, that means there's something more concerning with the hot water tank. Also too, if this is cranked up too hot and notices it's scalding, it's supposed to sense the temperature. Again, will open, release the water until it's been satisfied. This, uh, this one here was pulled out of an older hot water tank. Uh, just to show you what happens is that the plastic starts corroding that's wrapped around the coppered rod here that senses your temperature and pressure. So once this happens, this device is no good. Um, and then also, this is the only safety device you have. If it's not doing its job, it's not protecting anything. It's not protecting your home or yourself. So the reason why there's so many minerals clogged up in here and looking like, <laughs> like lava, it's like just break off in your hand kind of thing is because the anode rod who knows how long it fell off for, did its job, broke down and fell apart. And this rod here is actually three quarter inches in diameter, which is pretty much the same diameter of the top off your hot water tank. This rod is either made from aluminum or zinc, depending on the model or manufacturer you have. And it's supposed to collect all the hardness in the water. You can see all the calcium buildup that it's collected. Once it hits a certain breaking point, it will stop collecting, it'll start corroding and fall apart like this guy here. And that just sits in the back of the hot water tank. You also have what's called a dip tube. Dip tube will sit down here on that side of the tank and will help the cold water come down and mix in the bottom so you can get hot water come up. You don't want your water mixing up here. If that dip tube is gone or deteriorated like this one was, and I'll show you here, this is all that was left of it. And it's supposed to usually from here down to the tank length and three quarter inch in diameter. That's all that's left of it. And usually because we can find the stuff in fixtures as well too. We did a, a washing machine replacement and we found a bunch of this inside uh, the connection between the laundry shutoff and to the washing machine. They're wondering why they weren't getting any cold water or sorry, hot water. It's because this was jamming it up inside that connection. So. A lot of things to consider about your hot water tank. Just because you, it's doing its job, it's heating, you don't have any issues, you should have someone come and check it. Either us at On Point Plumbing or whoever you're using as your plumber should be a re recommendation. We talk about hot water tanks a lot in our posts and this is actually an excellent reason why you should be maintaining your hot water tank. Get some more years out of it, even the new ones. When we install our hot water tanks, we always offer an annual maintenance on all our hot water heaters. And prices do vary from unit to unit to unit, so there's not really a set point for every home. It's every, it all depends on what you're gonna get for a hot water tank or a heating system for that matter. So, uh, Ryan with On Point Plumbing, we are dedicated to protecting your largest investment. Follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, check out our website, onpointplumbing.ca. And don't forget, December 20th is the deadline to vote 
for us as your top choice uh, plumbing company in Edmonton for 2021. We've been nominated and I'm really thrilled about this. So if you go to um, topchoiceawards.com, search On Point Plumbing, look us up, take three minutes to give us a vote. We've done work for you in the past. Um, that'd be great, just look to hear some feedback. Also, uh, check us out on Google, check out our reviews and how we've been helping customers throughout the years. And again, Edmonton, thank you for the support for the last uh, soon to be five years in January. So thank you. Um, Till next time.